Well, I've got a very biting owl here, Lisa, who only came in this morning. Um, I know you've looked at his eye very briefly to see what's going on, but we'll have a better look. So this is his good eye. And obviously this one is the, the painful eye. And we know this eye has had a bleed into it. Um, and that's what I want to make sure that the uh, pressure's not too high and causing him more pain in that eye. Right, so we're just going to have a quick look in the eye and see what the, what's happening with the hemorrhage. So I'll just turn the lights off. So I'm just going to have a quick look in the eye. And it's a good start. If you look at the normal eye first, you'll see that I can see his, his iris and his pupil. Yeah. You can see that. There's a lot of blood in there, isn't there? Yeah. So you can't really see the iris at all? Nothing. So now we've, now we've done that and we've confirmed, obviously, the bleed in his eye. Now we can uh, test the, the pressures. pressures. Yeah. Right. OK, I'm ready. I'm going to put my little... Then we'll do the bad eye first. I'll probably do the good eye first as, to start with. You've got your feet out the way. So the good eye is normal, so now I just need to check the bad eye. So it's important to have the head as straight as I can. And then just open the eye. There we go. It's amazing, isn't it? Not worried about it at all. That's good, and what that's told us is that that eye has no high pressure in it is almost exactly the same as the other eye. So we know that uh, he hasn't got any kind of glaucoma issues happening. Oh, he's still got the blood in that eye. Or... He has, yeah, but at least we know that the blood yeah. isn't blocking any of the dra uh, normal eye drainage and causing a, 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 a glaucoma pain to happen. So that's really, really good.